Well, this is a bit of an interesting little test. Age of 47 is an expert on making innocuous things cause pain and death to specific targets. So, but let's just see how well can he make use of gravity as the tool of his trade. Which to say, it's a challenge run where I try to get every victim either throw, either killed by gravity, either to fall, which means say they either get thrown out from some high location or something unpleasant is dropped on top of them. So, time to begin. Welcome back, Initiate. As an ICA agent, Every challenge you face can be overcome in multiple ways. Complete this exercise again, this time attacking it from a different angle. Vary your strategy. Improvise. We will be watching. Well, Age of 47 back starts, of course, his quest of causing unpleasant uh, gravity-related damage to into in, of course, I see a facility where there is a few methods of actually causing a little bit of damage. And, well, first method of causing involves alarming that little, that little nice fellow. Want to get him to come into this location. And he will come there, and because well, taking me over make gives him a, gives me gives forty seven a really good access to the Hello. well. Now you go down. Of course, I could then drop him to get to the uh, make him drop to the floor, but I will not because eight forty seven is a professional. So, but now, I have now become this guy who was an actor, so let's just go have a chat with the other actor playing a role of the target, or Mark, however you want to call it. Mr. Norfolk, how are you today? Yeah, now I'm going good with, I'm good with this disguise. This is just basic tutorial part, but uh, there's a bit of complications when you re look at how this job actually is could be done. Mr. Ritter, I'm Terry Norfolk. Do we have a problem? Mr. Ritter, I'm Terry Norfolk. Mr. Norfolk, we meet at last. So good of you to fly down. Shall we? Lead the way. Uh, yeah, that was the first phase of the Mr. mission. Norfolk. Just the, how would you say, this method cap captured, take capture that guy's attention. Tracking over there, which gives me a good access to this location. And as I am now here, I will subdue him. And the method is to get him to fall. So I will now ditch him over the edge. And drag him. I could ditch him over the, that rail over there. But it would lack the little bit of flare of dramatic styling this kind of little mission would need because that actor's job must be made into worst jo worst jobs he ever has done taken by flinging him over to the sca o over this edge to the scaffolding. Oh, uh, damn! He had an awful job. Well, that was the first drop, and there will be many more. So, it's still uh, so it's time to go to the next one. Now, this mission uh, also has a chance to, for Age of 47 to co cause gravity-related accident, which he already did. <laughs> Even in a situation where there was no, not meant to be co cause a gravity-related accident, but he still managed to do it. I think the guy doing the role of Cal Ritter most likely suffered a serious broken bone from the scaffolding. But, 
This one takes so much effort that I will be using the speeding up function to get to the actual location, which starts right away. And with this lure of the money, Mr. Calvin, Mr. Jasper Knight walks into the room, yes. finds a coin, joins the knockout land, and promptly leaves through the window. Ouch! And once again, age of, once again, age of 47 caused an accident. Even when he was not supposed to be causing a ma painful accident, he did successfully cause an accident. So yeah, that's two two people fallen, suffered it something from gravity anomaly on their bodies. No, in Paris, there's plenty of methods to actually cause some unnecessary, uh, painfully de gravity, gravity deaths, and one of these already just happened. Obviously, it was just made into ready to trigger. But it also involves a bit of cutting stuff off because, well. There would be lots of em running around pointlessly. So they will be... So they will be cutting things away as I now get myself a bodyguard outfit which allows me to walk over everywhere. Ah, there goes one sort of gravity death. It's time to just summon the fireworks. Which will, of course, go do the th trick of summoning uh, Dahlia Margolis and Victor Novikov both to a little bit of appropriate uh, proposition for double gravity work. That double gravity is work. And as the big light show is going on, so so is Viktor Novikov up walking here as well. And he's doing it quite nice, rapid pace. And wh while there's happening this, there, is there they are, and it's double gravity elimination. Both are down. Great work. Now head but the there will be more methods of taking him, taking them out with gravity. Uh, another method of causing uh, gravity fall is gravity damage is by becoming first a male model. Which is of course a job Age of 47 excels very well with his chiseled features and nice designer suit. Or would I say nice designer fashion outfit. Looking classy, as always. But then it then the mission would involve that Age of 47 going to the... Uh, going to say hello to Dahlia Margolis and which I will skip little that those little unnecessary those little boring steps of getting there Helmut, lovely outfit. Please have a seat. All right Dahlia Margolis does her so, necessary you accept my offer? 
the spooky speech. Straight to the point. I like it. As it happens, I have the perfect assignment for you. Jessica Highmore. Highmore Consulting. The very same. That's why I wanted you in the show. So Jessica would notice you. Now, I want you to go to New York. Seek out Jessica and do what you do best. The girl is bright, young, beautiful. Should be right up your alley. And yet she's not the mark. My, you do catch on fast. No, that would be her father, CEO John Highmore. Jessica is your way in. Befriend him, get his trust. Highmore Consulting is planning a merger. I want to know with whom and at what price. All right, consider it done. And that's for you. Keep it on you at all times. Last resort. Cyanide. Good choice. All right, Dahlia did her spooky speech. We've got Start trouble. to make her phone call thingy. Well, let's just get up and pick the poison she asked me to make use of. And now, instead of she having a phone call, she gets herself knocked out. And despite the age of 47 being very strong, she should be no Krav Maga, meaning it, there should be more fight. And then, of course, she falls over the railing right in front of... Well done, 47. Yep. Oh, straight to the catwalk. That's a bad fall. And yeah, there's also a way to drop the whole big light rig on top of Victor himself with a big disaster. But suffice to say, but I'm not gonna show that one. There's many methods. You can use gravity in this state, Paris, to do your do Agent 47 job. And he looks quite impressive uh, as a model. Now, Savienza, Italy has these two targets and the virus. Virus can't be dropped. Anyway, so it can it can't be dropped, but one one story mission actually is very much completely designed to make ma ma make target drop to fall to his death. So n no reason not to follow follow that instruction and see what what's going on. And of course, it may involve some sort of speeding up on uh, wait waiting times because it, they, these games do tend to have a bit of waiting especially if you try to do things subtle and quiet so but any case age of 47 is a new cook he's gonna add some uh, spaghetti sauce to the soup which that the fine chef couldn't make make into cu customers taste this and then it's time to yeah it's ready time to summon the food summon summon the di diner to have his lunch. Now, after feeding Silvio Caruso his mother's favorite pasta or spaghetti sauce, it's time to well. It didn't. Uh, his stomach hadn't wasn't so accustomed to it. So gravity work does his work. Good old fashioned to have Antis fall from some location. This Antis is gonna be taken out with the crudest method possible. Knock the guard out. No. Knock her out. And throw her off the off the window. Not the fanciest method, but it works. Now destroy the virus. And virus can't uh, can't be dropped, so that was it. Now, the Marrakesh stage has actually at least few methods of getting the gravity to do the nasty work for for the 47. So let's just make use of one of them. Let's put the intercom on so the general can hear how level of dislike those two grunts have towards general himself. And then we just wait up here in the broken down toilet until the general him comes he comes to yell at them. So it doesn't they should not be taking long. So because that toilet or boil boy toilet over there is quite suspiciously teetering over the edge. That is General Reza Zaydan. 
Of course I could just maybe try and kick him off the edge right now. Which happened right here. But there's other with other method for that as well. Well, instead of just kicking him down to the office below, let's just wait until the general comes to here to yell. So let's just drop something heavy on his head, like a toilet. Yep. That was literally bathroom break on him on his head. But there might actually be even that be a third method of making gravity do some bad stuff to General Zaidan. A third method of causing a little bit of gravity damage to General Zaidan included stealing a officer's it? outfit. General Zaidan's order. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah. Agent 47 is a fine paratrooper. And of course that means dismissing the guard and then turning off the oil lamp, which the general likes. Of course I could then open up the gas valves to make him a little bit of a, you could say, gravity suffering situation. But that is not the point of this, because gravity is meant to cause the damage. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, a bit of cough. Uh, let's just dismiss this guy as well, while I'm waiting. You're dismissed. General Satan's order. Sir, you might find this amusing, but I can assure you, drawing attention to yourself is not what you want to be doing. Well, now I just have to uh, take and wait for the general to arrive. Well, he didn't like his favorite oil lamp being turned off. Well, hey. now he's getting a, down there with a little bit of crowbar. Who in their right mind would throw that? So it's time to strangle him down into unconsciousness, drag him to this nearest window, and make gravity do its work. So, going to the Strandberg now. Now, Age of 47 infiltrated himself into our embassy as a cameraman. And there's a live television broadcast going on uh, now. right now. Off you go, sir. So, he will now, so now it's now time to go to this location where there is this... Big winch holding that stuffed moose above Strandberg's head, and in live television, uh, television, a uh, stuffed moose falls on top of man's head. That's painful, but that's not even the only only way this can be solved. Now, as a janitor, Age of Forty Seven can just lurk in the bush, grab hold of Strandberg's fa ug ugly body. Drag him over the edge and throw him off the edge to his death. That solves the dropping part. So it's time to go to the next one. Now in Bangkok, Age of 47 can make use of a very pe peculiar, peculiar little fact about lo location that which used to say he can just knock out uh, Ken Morgan's bodyguard and drag his remains into the cupboard because Age of 47 is a professional of course he could steal all of his clothes but that would not be the point and then there's Mr. Ken Morgan's over overweight and over over angry physical form which can then be just quite slowly methodically and carefully dragged all the way to this nice friend nice window and thrown over the edge which solves the gravity gravity fall on his case so get behind the kid show us what you made of 
Well, Edge of 47 can do another little drop first by being a drummer. Now, was that correctly animated for the drums? I do not know. But Age of 47 showed his deadpan style. So, but now Jordan Cross wants to have a little chat with him about the, about his fancy plans of ditching the band. Well, that's it. He's trying to pick a, go solo, but Age of 47 doesn't like it. He appreciates loyalty. Three or four, three, to, three to four floors to a hard concrete floor back first. Yeah, gravity is a harsh worker. Now, the Colorado is a bit more difficult place to get the... make the gravity do the work because of the, well, the nature of the place. But, knocking out Sean Rose... And then just... Cowardly... Dragging his earthly <sighs> earthly body across the to the window and making him do a jump a, do a choice suicide. Well, that solved one pro one fall over. Uh, so it's time to go to the next other target to make the gravity do some job. Tightly packed hail ba hay bale means a crushed skull, neck well, and back. And it was also gra also death of Maya Parvati through gravity. So off to next next target as well. And some sharp eyes might notice that I have to assemble this Colorado from several clips because well this is quite difficult map to do this kind of challenge. Now making the Penelope Graves to go suffer a case of landing or gravity related unpleasantness Hi, it demands Graves. actually a story mission to go through because Penelope otherwise tracking her, finding her uh, or placing her into a location where you can actually uh, drop her in or drop her out is quite complex or difficult. It would demand a lot of battering out of all kinds of characters just to make sure it would happen. So let's just try to go and wait her near the waste pit. How did they get to and now Graves is thinking about her it's decision so it's time to just <laughs> kick her and throw her to the slurry pit. Which solves the matter quite efficiently. So another target as well. Now making Ezra Berg, aka the guy with the Michael Myers mask, takes a little bit of preparation work in the cellar, just taking down all the guards and all that, and drag him out of the edge. And then you can throw him over the stairs to land on his head. So, th by that results, all targets of Colorado can be thrown out, uh, de defeated with, or better say, eliminated with a gravity related thing, but it definitely is not recommended on this stage. It's, um, it's very lacking in such opportunities. Now, Colorado is a compl is unpleasant if you try to do this kind of gravity related challenge play to yourself, 
But Hokkaido is everything but such a ja big challenge because, well, well, there's the technical issue of Eric Soder's not moving anywhere. He's very much heavily sedated and all that kind of nonsense to be there. But there's still the technical, well, what you could say, not necessarily a technical thing, but the thing that, because, well, he may not be... A he might be someone you can't drop, but he has a heart that can very much be dropped into specific location, which I'm already going to do right now. I'm wandering around the facility trying to opening up doors and getting myself some tools, even though wrench isn't that necessary. Yep, uh, why would they make this kind of sinister red lighting into these kind of corridors? I do not know. Hey, so you're the curator's research aide, right? Let me guess. You want to know about the medical trial? Oh, so it is true. The, the guys had a mood-altering neurochip implanted in his brain. So, so how does it work? Uh, does it work? Sorry, I'm just gonna have to wait for my Yeah, well, I already have the my I already have the mind control chip on it. Relating to his behavior, so it'll be gonna it's gonna be real easy and efficient. Actually, not before before that happens, I'm gonna do it bit differently. Because there's this one gangster guy in the in here who deserves to take a nap. So dumping his remains over there. Breaking down the camera record camera stuff. Getting the neuro chip remote control and giving her a big dose of happy happy juice to from his brain. So now I just have to wait for him to go and admire this lovely little Eric uh, transplant heart stolen to Eric Soders. And you, ho people have only one heart. Oh yeah, now he's going there. You're excused. Well, he goes down. Well, th those guys went down as well, but now it goes down the heart. And throwing a heart to the trash is technically a gravity related thing. So, as it's dropped to the trash, it means it's gravity related well that he went down quite nicely but now it's time to go and handle Yuki Yamazaki and uh, because of my little lack of subtlety it's time to do it in a different edit now taking care of Yuki Yamazaki well, it demand it took some violent altercations, that but is Yuki Yamazaki, but it takes a ham striking to ham head with a hammer, and then just ca dragging her very slowly and methodically through all to this her suspiciously empty. Well, I would call this chambers or however you want however you want to call it to the edge of the mountain and then just lifting her nicely over the edge and uh, yep that's that's that solves it down. and that's, that's it, it. <sighs> hitman 1 or hitman 2016 
cut with no Well, Hitman 2016 sold with one with all the targets being thrown away or having something fall on them. And I think there might be time to give a more, perhaps a more dramatic bonus of the, you could say, extra missions of this Hitman. So let's just jump to the very dramatic finale with this cable car ride. Now... Sleazy politician Marco Abiati is just so good target for becoming a part of church decorations. Target down. Now head towards an exit. Yep, I guess that was uh, God's way of saying uh, no. And well, judging by this, quite a lot of tar all main lot of targets can be taken out with gravity. Uh, I did. I did leave out the din, some of the extra missions part of it. But hey, guys, that concludes Hitman 2016: uh, Kill All Targets with Gravity Challenge Run.